soda, cake, cookies, they are just a few of the things that we try and avoid when we're dieting, and they are also some of the things that diabetics have to avoid to stay healthy. But our next guest is here to change how we think. It's Daryl Thompson, and you're basically making sugar a little bit friendlier for us. Welcome to the show. How are you? Good morning. Doing good. How are you doing this morning? I'm great, especially when I start my morning out with brownies. Yep, that's what we're working <laughs> on. Uh, we have some surprising research uh, that basically helps us to buffer the amount of sugar, uh, how fast your body metabolizes sugar in our refined foods, such as like our breads and our pastas today. So what is this product that, that by name? What's it? It's called Emulin. And through, Emulin. through research, it, the reason we called it that is because it emulates the act activity of insulin. And we noticed that in the past 100 years that we've had a growing and, and ever-growing trend of diabetes. And it's because we've started eating, going from this to eating more refined sugars, and it's that impact of sugars that leads to hyperglycemia, which in return leads to diabetes. Okay, so this is just for diabetics or it's for anybody? It's actually for everybody. Uh, the research shows today that it works very well for buffering sugars for type 1 and type 2 diabetics, but also we're hoping to reduce the growing trend or reverse the growing trend of diabetes today, especially in children. How does it work when you're preparing food, say brownies or if you're preparing a, a chocolate cake or whatever? You well, make? essentially these buffering agents is are, it? are the emerald. Yes, it's, uh, it starts out in the fruits and vegetables, then it get, it's refined to this. Okay which is refined form, and then it's refined further down to this, uh, which is emulin, so it's suitable to add to brownies or pasta or even coals. Okay, so you, does it have a, it has a sweet flavor to it? It has zero flavor to it at all. As a matter of fact, you wouldn't even know it's in the food. Let me see. Yeah, this is like powder. With a little bit of a little bit of a tart taste, right? A, a tiny bit of a tart. I don't think you're supposed to eat taste. it like that. No, but it's, it, it only takes <laughs> a tiny bit to add into our foods, and the the idea is that it's going to simply buffer the impact of the carbohydrates as it speeds through your metabolism. So this isn't a diet type of thing. If somebody was trying to shed weight per se, that they wouldn't want to go to that as a substitute like a Splenda. This is this is more for people that are trying to. Um, avoid the insulin ups and downs? That's exactly it. It's hyperglycemia, too much blood sugar in your system at one time. When we had it, when you consume the, the sugars, you know, this, this orange juice uh, has the amount of sugars is almost a serving of cola, but you will not develop diabetes drinking orange juice. Right. But somehow we have so much colas and, and refined sugars that we're missing this buffering agent. So simply by taking this and adding it to our refined foods, we were able to clinically to take type 1 diabetics and actually without the, the addition of insulin reduce their blood sugar levels to normal. That's a big deal. It's a huge deal and we think it's going to go a long way with making food safer for everyone. People who have been implementing this into their diet, what are they telling you? They, they don't even notice it's there. Uh, they don't notice it's there. We've seen uh, reductions in cholesterol, but more importantly, stabilized blood sugar levels. The swings are not there. Any side effects at all? Because you've got to ask that when you're talking about people that have a health condition like diabetes or if you're talking about giving it to kids. There's no, new, there's no real side effects uh, the, except for the fact we do not want to give people the idea that they can consume uh, as many Twinkies as they would like. I mean, you have to have some common sense. And it, it, we're typically just trying to make the refined foods safer, and it's just simply taking the, the defense sugar buffering mechanism that, that nature has designed and adding it to our refined foods. It was a common sense discovery. It's been in front of our faces for 50, 60 years, and we're just now starting to figure this out. All right. Well, let's put it to the test. Are sure. you nervous? No, not at all. Really? Not at all. Okay, because I always think it's interesting. Go ahead. Okay. Guys, we're going to – Sophie. This is Sophie, right? Is your name so? Tell me your name. I'm Sophia Gather Marley. <laughs> and what is your name? Hayden. Hayden. Hayden what? Paul Gago. There you go. Okay, so you guys ready for some brownies for breakfast? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, dig in. Go ahead. Go ahead. I say you have another two or three bites, because how often do you get brownies for breakfast? When was the last time your mom gave you brownies for breakfast? Never. Never? <laughs> What do you think? Go take another bite. Go ahead and two, three bites. You got a good flavor in your mouth? Okay. So I'm going to let you talk with your mouth full. Hayden, what do you think? Mm, it's good. Like on a scale of one to ten, ten is like over the top. And one is, yeah, my mom made it. <laughs> what would you say? Mm, I don't know. Would you say it's like really good? Yeah? yeah. Well, okay. Here's the real test. 
Do you want another one? Do you want to take one home with you for yeah. later? Okay, well then that's pretty good. What do you think? Mm. That, the cowbell comes a butterfly when it grows up. That's right. That's what everybody wanted to know, that brownies also mean that the caterpillar becomes a butterfly when it grows up. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. yeah. You're such a smart girl, and I bet it has to do with those brownies. You know a lot of interesting information. You knew that too, right? But they didn't take the brownies to figure that one out? Sophie, Hayden, thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Go ahead and take some more. You can give one to your mom and to your um, sister. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right. Well, uh, there you go. Proof is, in the, proof is in the brownies, right? Oh, yeah. Proof's in the brownies. Best credits. Okay. Well, here's some more information for you. We want to go ahead and put this up on the screen. Um, uh, let's look at our, uh, Southern, our Sonoran Living Poll. We